Raw emotions on display in downtown Fargo today. Protesters held a march demanding a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. And WDAY News reporter Sarah Biennium followed the protest and learned why they're bringing their message to Fargo. Community members in the FM area are starting here on the north side of Island Park to march downtown in solidarity with Palestine. They call it March for Palestine. We need to step up. We can no longer take a bystanding part while our Palestinian brothers and sisters do it all. It's been going on for 70 days, over 70 days, and it feels like nothing is happening. So I have hope, but I don't know what I hope for, but I know that if I just stop, it'll get so much worse. And, I, and, and at some point, our government has to realize that they're losing us and we won't stand for it. Sabria helped gather about 50 people to wave flags, signs, and kafias in support of Palestinians. Kneels on the floor and has to uncover himself. Alongside that, local students and worried members of the community shared their personal concerns with the conflict. What does my dad have to do? I am here to tell people about my story and my family, uh, which I have lost, and I'm gonna um, carry this grief all my life until I die. So at least I should be doing some change in this world for them. Marwa's family members died during the war in Israel. I lost. Uh, I lost uh, my parents. Uh, two of my sisters and two of my uh, nephews. On. Her and the other protesters joined this movement to demand the U.S. government to call on a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and stop all aid. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! The reality is it's mass killing of civilians, um, and we and it is unacceptable, and we do not stand for it, and we, if they have nothing, we have to fight for them. They don't have resources, they don't have government, they don't have water, they don't have food. In hopes of getting their message understood, the protesters marched through downtown Fargo, chanting words like, up, up with liberation, down, down with occupation. Up, up with liberation, up, up with liberation, down, down with occupation, down, down with occupation. Their voices are what gets stuff done. Their voices and their actions. You can do something, you're not drowned in the masses. You create the larger masses and that's what gets things done. Reporting for WDAY News, I'm Sarah Bienname. And according to the Gaza's health ministry, nearly 19,000 people have been killed in Gaza since Israel launched its military offense.